Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming. We are happy to be able to present to you today. My name is Sandy, and I would like to introduce my presentation partner, Thomas. Hello. We are both studying business. So, what do you think is the significance of this picture? Did the old man win a prize? Yes, maybe. Sure, he did. Actually, no. This man is already 90 years old, and he is still working at his local DIY supermarket. And this is a sample of how one UK company has solved the problem of how to find staff when there is a declining workforce. And this is what our presentation is about today. Causes, events, and solutions of China's aging population. We have divided our presentation into four parts. First, I will talk about uh, the background of China's aging population. And second, its causes. And then Thomas will briefly present the effects before looking at some solutions for the aging population. He will also give a brief uh, conclusion. And we will be talking about uh, for around 10 minutes, and we welcome any questions at the end. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Robert, and this is my partner, Wang. And we are going to talk to you today about a very crucial issue. How many of you have heard of the issue of the aging population before? OK, most people. So, well, for those who haven't, I will take a few moments to introduce the topic for you at the start. Robert will then give you the main causes of the aging population in China. We is then going to highlight some suggestions for ways to tackle this problem in China. Finally, we will summarize the key points from our talk and we will have some time for questions at the end. Well, first of all, let's take a look at this picture. And an elderly man who works at his local DIY store. What do you think when you see this? It's bad that elderly people have to keep working to survive. Well, not necessarily. Maybe the old man just wants to work. Okay, so let's first take a look at the problem of the aging population in China. 